everybody, it's Mike Myers and Richard Chapman, Two Ball Nerds, talking to you on the Breach of the Month, and this is a Whomper, isn't it, Richard? The it is, but this is an interesting breach. one, too. This yeah, is an well, interesting one, too, because it's long-term. And it's huge. I mean, uh, so this is the AT&T Breach. Uh, do we have an exact date on this? AT&T gets a little confusing on stuff like this. Well, according to the information that they're, they are sharing, they're saying this actually happened back in 2019. So this is not new. This is information that evidently was somehow leaked or somehow obtained uh, quite a while ago. So this is this is an interesting one because of of the investigation. You know, we have a, a certain amount of time that we generally keep uh, data, and having to go back to 2019 to try to identify where it came from that might be difficult. It's going to be interesting. You know, I've always wondered about that. Where because a lot of times. By the time the information, you know, uh, PII, for example, actually starts to leak out in the dark web, mm -hmm. a lot of times it's already been run through by the bad boys. You know what I'm trying to say here? So uh, it, it doesn't surprise me that there's these big delays, especially with something of this size. So it's it's we, it's tough to know though. I mean, this could be data that was available on a a, a, a partner vendor. It may yeah. have not actually come from AT and T. So there's no telling how long it's been out there. But um, I think that the assumption here, based on everything that I've read, is that it was recently released, which means it may not have actually been found until recently. So this could be data. It was sitting somewhere on some device, some server, whether it's with AT&T or whether it's one of their partner vendors or something. And instead of that information being backed up and stored securely, it was allowed to be uh, to, to be obtained. And social security numbers are a part of this. 70 million social security numbers. Um, they said something like 7.6 million are current AT&T account holders and the the remainder of that are all previous or former account uh, holders. So, are you an AT and T account holder? I was. I was. It's been it's been a while. I actually had to think back and go, when did I switch? Because I used to be with AT and T before I switched to T Mobile, um, and I switched to T Mobile. I'm almost positive in 2015, 2016. So that change, I'm, I'm kind of I'm. I'm, I think I'm okay, but you never really know. I mean, who knows, right? Right. So monitor the dark web, monitor your, your credit history, all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, AT&T is doing a pretty, uh, a pretty deep investigation and they're, uh, they're trying to understand exactly. Sorry. You're a they're trying to, I, somebody, somebody was trying to call me through Slack. So apologies for that. Uh, Technology is great until it's not, right? Hey. Um, <laughs> anyways, at and is trying to do the investigation. They're trying to find out exactly what, where, how, when, why, all that fun stuff. So we uh, we may or may not get any any details from this, but we'll see. All right, and and I, I'll tell you this. Stay, you know, keep watching Two Ball Nerds. If we get some good developments, we'll certainly continue to update folks. Uh, but this is one of the biggest breaks. 73 million, man. Oof. Yeah, That's it's a lot. I mean, it's a, that's a, that's a, that is a tremendous amount of social security numbers uh, to be leaked. Um, and I'm assuming that one of the fields was probably the name as well. So name and social, um, that's that's a big deal. So Yep, that's all you need most of the time. Cool. Yep. All right. Well, that's all I have at the moment on the AT&T Breach, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next Two Bald Nerds, where hopefully we'll have either additional information on this breach or one of the other previous breaches we've talked about. At bare minimum, we'll be uh, looking at all the breaches and we will get you as up to date as we can. If you like Two Bald Nerds, check out our entire playlist right here. It's a lot of fun. We'll see you there.